Are you looking for a simple way to motivate a strong connection with your website visitors? In today's video and by using Elementor, I share with you how you can connect your visitors to WhatsApp with one click away with dynamic content, no extra plugin. If you stay till the end, I share different solutions you can implement so your users can interact with you. Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel, my name is Natalie. Dynamic tags are used to insert customized data based on various sources. The way it works is as follows. Every time you use a dynamic tag, it interacts with the widget controls functionality. What actually takes place is that they turn static controls into smart components, meaning that dynamic tags are like functions the user can define in order to change the output. One among them I want to talk about is dynamic contact URL. The dynamic contact URL feature provides a quick way to create smart links from any widget that has a link field. The easiest way to get started with dynamic content in Elementor is to use the dynamic site widgets that come with the team builder. To illustrate this concept, let's look at the specific example I'm building my header in my demo template. There are multiple ways to insert dynamic content in Elementor. When you create a new header template with a team builder, you'll get a set of dynamic widgets that apply to that template. They are usually located at the top of the Elementor panel. Another way to dynamic insert dynamic content into regular Elementor widgets is by using the widget settings and looking for the dynamic tags icon. If there is the, I the dynamic tag icon, you are certain this widget has dynamic content feature. I drag and drop the text editor widget, so I click on the plus icon in Elementor Canvas. I'm using the Elementor Developer Edition, that's why I'm having already the container. Under the Content tab, you will easily find the dynamic tags icon here. Once you click on the icon, you will view a drop and down list you can browse through to insert dynamic information. To simplify navigation, all tags are arranged into groups, allowing you to easily click through the lists. For instance, I want to insert here the author name, so click now to expand. And by clicking on the wrench, the wrench icon, you access the advanced settings and you get three options before, after and fallback. These three options allows you to add static texts before, after and for the use cases when there is no dynamic content to fill the widget. Now uh, let me demonstrate you with some practical examples. Let's say you want to dynamically insert a WhatsApp link on this bottom widget. If you look carefully to the link settings, under the Content tab, you easily find the dynamic content icon. Click on it. It opens up a drop-down list, right, with all available dynamic content options. Under the Actions section, you have three options. Expand the Contact URL option. Now click on the wrench icon to have access to the types you want to use. From this, select drop-down list, choose WhatsApp. Below, under the number field is where you insert your WhatsApp contact number. If you click on the gear icon, and I recommend you do so, you will find the link settings. You have open in a new window and head a no follow or a custom attribute for those use cases where you want to define your attribute separated with a pipe character. For this demo, I set mine to open in a new window. The add no follow is helpful when you have here a affiliate link, for instance. And let's check. So I am in the service page. Let's scroll down to the same button. Click 
and we are connected to WhatsApp API web landing page and if I click on continue to chat it will open up my chat friends list we have just added a smart link fantastic your visitor now can easily and simply get in touch with your website always keep in mind that when inserting a regular URL you are inserting a static link rather than a dynamic link when using static links we are often run into the issue of having to set redirection links from the old to the new ones so one great advantage of using dynamic links is that it is dynamically updated without a running any need of redirect issue another quick example creating internal link to point to the same page I want to insert my admin registered name here in my contact page. This is useful, for instance, to display on membership sites when you have restricted site parts and you want to display customized names for your users. For that reason, I'm going to insert a vertical container. I had already did it. I had a heading widget just like that. Now to easily push from my WordPress database, database source, I click on the dynamic tag icon under the site group, expand user information, then select the rank to, fill, to choose the field type. And I want to display my name. There you go. I don't set any link settings so it stays in the same page after clicking. Easy to implement, right? Next, I will be inserting extra data from ACF. ACF plugin is a popular WordPress plugin allowing to add, store and manage additional information about posts, about pages, so to speak. It's a free plugin you can download from the WordPress repository. I went ahead and I already installed the plugin. Here's what I want to accomplish. I want to add to this team section more information about the partners besides only showing the category i want to add a bio an extra piece of information so my users get the real story life about the person so let's do this it's pretty easy let's go to the back end of my wordpress i created the acf field with only one field i call it a logical name i call it bio details let me show you it's attached to the teams page i have the assigned the location here under the location rules and i have determined the field to show up in the page to show up to the page called team so show this field group i had it at text area and i published so let's open up the team page now let's open up the teams page inside wordpress because we need to fill out the acf field with the bio so here is my field i have the bio information and i added some dummy text now let's add it with elementor now select the team's person you want to display the extra information i want to add here to this to this person under this is using the flip box uh, widget so i click on the dynamic text then on post custom field and then the key is here my bio information under the advanced tab i want to add bio this is just an example of what you can accomplish that's super cool right now let's jump over to the at the front end to see how it looks like it's a really easy to have extra information based on your own needs there's so many things you can do on your website super easy how to make a clickable phone number i will use this button there are two ways to achieve the same solution. One is by using the smart link option. 
Under the link, select Contact URL. Click to expand and then to type. So, and then I put here a random number. Under the rank icon, I want to set this open in a new window. Let's publish and check on the front end because I always like to show you how this is looking. Refresh the page since we are inserting new code. Let's scroll down, let's click and there you go. You can now make a call from this app. The other way to create a clickable phone link is to insert manually. Let's add it with Elementor, the home page. I close this option. I insert here telephone and then a random number. Update, refresh, clicking. There you go. Super cool. If you want to insert manually an email, all you have to do is to replace the tell text into mail to followed by the email address to send email to. It's super easy. So, this wraps up the video. My name is Natalie and I'm the founder of this YouTube channel. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you so much for watching. Have a nice day wherever you are. Subscribe smash the like button in case you found this video content valuable to you thank you so much for watching